Hi, welcome to Business Automated. Today I will show you how to create automated proposals based on new data rows that you are adding to your Excel file. Let's get to it. So the first step is to create a folder on your OneDrive and you can name the folder any way you want. And what is most important is that we are going to create two files over there. One of them is going to be the list of proposals that you want to create. The second one will be the template of the offer that you are going to be sending out. Let's start with the Excel file for the proposals first. So here you can see the sample uh, file that contains the data that we will be using in our proposal. In our example, we're using the number of the proposal. We are using the first name of our contact. We're using the company name. We are using the name of the program that we are selling, proposed price, as well as description of the program. And you will see that in our template, you will find fields that correspond to those uh, columns. So you can see that here we are having first name, here we are having company name, here we are having the name of the program. And this is important that these will be the tags that will be substituted by data coming from Excel. So if you would like to create a new tag or new data, you can always type curly brackets and type new column or variable name and close the curly bracket. And now you'll be able to use this as a placeholder for the information coming from Excel. Okay, let's delete this one. So as you see, all those informations here are matching information that we have here inside of um, Excel. Now, how are we going to move the data from here into our template? For this, we're going to be using software called Integromat, and you can find the description of Integromat in the video below. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is create a simple scenario. So here we will go to create a new scenario, and we will start with this button over here, and we will look for Excel. All right. And from the all long list here, we will select watch worksheet rows. This means Anytime a new row is being added into our Excel, this automation will see that new rows have been added to our Excel. But for this to make it happen, first of all, you need to authenticate and create connection to your Office 365 from here, and then you need to select correct workbook. So let's select the workbook here, click here to choose the file. We selected the folders and now we are selecting the file. Okay, we only have one worksheet here, so this is the one that we'll select. And for the start, we will return only one row. So let's click OK. And as we are starting this, let's just select all. So where to start from all, we'll start from the beginning. Okay, so let's press run once, and you will see that this will return information. Here, we are getting the row two and we are getting the information that are inside of the row two. So if we create another row by duplicating this row here, and let's call it row number two, and run this scenario again, we will see the second row. Sometimes Excel takes a few seconds, so I would give it up to 30, 40 seconds to realize that we have added new row between everything is synced. So within 30 to 40 seconds, Excel should see that there has been a new row added. So let's try again in a few seconds. All right, and you can see that now Integromat is seeing that we have added another row, row number two. So this is the row that we are looking at, okay? So now the next step will be to pick up the template file from Google Drive. To do that, we will use OneDrive, OneDrive and download a file. This way, we are downloading the template file here. So um, instead of the file ID, we will use file path. And instead of enter manual, we will select it from the list. All right, and here it is important to download the template file, not the Excel file. So let's download the template. And this step will be downloading the actual file. And the next step that we will be using, we will use Word and Microsoft Word templates. And here we'll use fill out a document. So let's connect it to the previous step. And as we can see, 
it's already getting the source file from OneDrive, so we don't need to do anything over there. It will be the, automatically the correct file. Here, since we are creating a new file, we're gonna, we're gonna call it proposal underscore, and we are going to give the number of the proposal based on the data that we see from Excel. So in the beginning here, we'll use the, for every column here, you will see A, B, C, D, E, F. So you can see all the columns visible from Excel. And once you press that button here, you can see different type of information that are inside of the columns. We don't need the formula or we don't need any of those. We basically need the actual text value that we see as a, um, as it shows on screen. So let's select te text over here. So this will be basically the number of the proposal. And then the next step will be to add mapping to the template information. So for example, let's start here with the first name. So I'm copy exactly the first name as it shows up here in the template. And I'm going back here and I'm adding new item and a value type, it's gonna be value. There are conditions and loop possibles, uh, possible, but we'll ignore them for now. So we are just replacing value. And as a key, we will use exactly the value that we have copied exactly the, the tag without the uh, brackets. And then as the value for the first name, we'll pick up the first name also from here and we'll be using text. Okay, and let's do this for remaining items here on the list. So also for the company name. And here, finally, you will see that this is one point date created. This is date that we do not have at the moment inside of our Excel, but we will add it live as the document is being generated. So also insert date created as key over here. And to create a date, first thing we will use date functions from Integromat. But before we select now, we will use format date. And you will see that this will allow us to format date in a format that we would like. And in here, so for the first bracket, actually, when you hover over it, like you will see description, what is necessary in terms of formatting and so on, and what information does it need. So the first field will be now, which means the current timestamp. And for the second field, we will use a data format. So let's use the first format. An example, as an example here, which will be the uh, US time and date format, okay? So let's click add. Okay, so all the information here are going into the template. So this should create a new document based on the template, but the final step is missing, means we need to save it somewhere. So let's use OneDrive again to upload this file back into the original folder. And here you can see that it's already linking to the uh, previous source modules in Integromat, but in this case, we don't want to upload the file that we just downloaded. We want to upload the filled out document. So this is the second step. And there's nothing else that needs to be changed here. We just need to select to which folder it will go. We will save it in the same folder. All right, so we have selected the same folder. So now everything works. And let's try to create a new row and running this scenario to see what happens. You can see the new rows have been discovered and the new file has been generated. So let's go back to our folder view and we can see that the proposal free has been generated. So let's open that proposal and let's see how it looks. All right, and you can see that we are having the today's date over here. We have the name of the recipient, the recipient company name, based exactly on our template. We also have the name of the program and the description that has been added directly from the Excel as well as the offer price. So let's try to do it on one more example. And going back to Integromat, let's adjust the first step to reduce the limit of rows that it returns. So here we can put it as 50, for example, okay? 
and let's run this scenario one more time. And you can see that it's actually generating two files. So we can have our proposal 4 and proposal 5. All right, so every time you add a new row here, it will create a new file. It would be also possible to uh, connect this and have this file sent out automatically through an email. And you can follow uh, one of example of scenario like this in my other videos. So we'll conclude this scenario over here just to give you the idea how to generate the documents. And if you'd like this process to happen automatically, the only other part is to set scheduling and set how often we should check for new entries into this file or you can keep it um, manually as it is and basically run it whenever need be whenever you add new files if you don't whenever you have new proposals if you don't have that many of them all right i hope that was helpful for you guys and good luck automating your business